this. Every, breaking off from all your activities, you come here to vacation, to relax, to break off and make sure to come to Dal Minche with a minion is something very admirable. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there was one time a, an Asifi and there was a, 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 a skull cracking, there was an issue which had to be resolved between the Gdali Israel and something with, with the affecting the whole Clyde Israel and the discussion was heated and went into depth with all the stodim and time passed and uh, the Chavaz Chaim's son came over he says Tati says time to down Minche Chavaz Chaim's Chagra he says you from Mak he said the, the king of Klai Yisrael is at, at stake now if you come to Ein Dor Mit Minche <coughs> the uh, Pesach a person panosi, his income uh, to sustain himself as mishpacha is ksuvim from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah. Chutz, he says, except right now from Shabbos and Yantim, plus by the Talmud Torah. Pesach is one of the Yom which draws heavily on that and that Chazal, it's a, it's a very, very expensive Yantim, uh, Pesach. It was, they tell that in, in Europe, the, uh, the, the Britsim, uh, they one time they were sitting together, what, what better they have to do than sit and drink is the Hong Shikrit. Well, the Hong Shikrit, so they started all kind of venom, each one started spilling out venom against Yidin, what Yidin is not worth that, that, he's, that he's on this world, was I there? Who needs some of them? He said, so one, one part, one said, he said, no, no, he said, there are some very decent ones. Let me tell you, he said, I have a tenant, a Jew. He says, a very honorable, very decent man. He said, and uh, he said, he, uh, you, he said, it can't be. He said, you, I'll prove to you. I'll summon them, whatever I'll tell them to do. There's nothing he would, he's very eager to get them, he's very devoted. There's nothing he wouldn't do for me. So he, so he summons the Yid not to come. <laughs> Maybe that could be life threatening, not to, he used to fall in the Goy. So he came and he takes a look, he sees in front of the scene a whole group of Shikr Goyim. They're Hosh and Shikhazam, they can do anything. And uh, his landlord says to Moshke, Jewish says to him, uh, Aren't you very devoted to me? He says, Yeah. Whatever I've asked you to do, you wouldn't hesitate, absolutely not. What's he going to say? See, there's no sugar going. He couldn't say anything else. He said, um, let me ask you, if, even if I asked you that you should convert to a Hofschmann, would you do it? He said, you know, he's going, what should he, what, are, what should he say? He said, yeah, it's a Hofschmann. He quickly bring a galach, a priest, and they, and they spill the water, they baptize him, they spill water him, and after him, after him for Pragoi, that a day or two later, the, he had a certain amount of decency in this this part of the landowner. So he quickly summoned the Yid. He said to him, I, I beg your forgiveness, my goodness. He said, I know what it means for a Jew to give up his religion. He said, I really apologize. Please, I want you to become a Yid back again. He said, forget about it. So the, the uh, Yid says to him, Oh, I really appreciate your, your noble, noble gesture, but I'll tell you, in a, in, a, in a week and a half, there's coming one of the most expensive holiday, Yom Pesach, 
He said, it's, it's so expensive. He said, I'd rather it made a goitz after Pesach. So th this is unfortunately with the, uh, but sometimes people, the, uh, with seven in front of them, and uh, there was a year a contractor who uh, wanted to present a bid for a multi-million dollar firm. And uh, it was uh, three weeks to drive off. Aida was late. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he didn't shave. He didn't take a haircut. So he turns to his wife. He says, "Feggy, you know, somebody, this multi-million-dollar firm, no matter how reasonable, cheap, I'll beat all the other bids. No matter how well I'll write it up, that I'm going to perform the the uh, entire project." He said, "They won't." Look at his response, uh, this is a responsible individual. He looked like a tramp, didn't take his shave, what kind of, go do business with him. Who is he, what is he? Man, I think, I, maybe I think I should better shave. She said, no. She said, some chaim, you know, something you never did before in your life. And we have panos until today. And it's not great, but it's not developed. So, he'll, he'll help us without, the, so you won't get the bid. You better think it over again. You don't think it over again. The night passes, and I track the gun, and I track the track. Next day, he said, Fagy, he said, there's too much at stake here. He said, I don't, I couldn't, I can't risk it. No. He said, I'll have to shave, make, um, my, make my best foot forward, my best appearance. And he comes to me before that committee, before the those that are looking at the bids. They study all the bids and they call him and they say, Mr. Goldman, we don't know how you did it. Your bid bid everybody and although also the manner that you're going to reform, they were very impressed. You're getting the job. The president is going, Mr. Johnson will be out in 15 minutes. He's going to come with a signed contract. It's your job. So he sits down and he sings himself, aha. No, go, great fog out for it. My fake, as of the Gesund sign. What does she know about the business world? Look what I've had. I come uh, uh, with, a, with a beard, but I drive on the keyboard. I would have lost everything. Now it's, it's waiting for me. He said, this will be, we, 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 uh, look what we have. have. He's sitting the 15 minutes end, and uh, Mr. Johnson comes out. He says, Mr. Goldman, let me shake your hand. We're very impressed. He says, here, I have the contract. I'm going to sign it. I just want to ask you one question. <coughs> Yesterday, my banker, an observer Joe, Mr. Bernie Cohen, <coughs> came to me. And he was, he was not shaven. He had a, a, a growth. So I said to him, Bernie, I said, what happened? Why aren't you shaving? So he explained to me, he said that there was a period, a glorious period in Jewish history, thousands of years ago, when we dwelled in our land, we had a luxurious <coughs> temple. The Almighty resided in there. And he told me that even the Divine Presence was there. He said there was bloodshed. We were driven from our land. That period in history had vanished from the scene. He said we mourn over that period, that glorious period. We mourn over it like we mourn over a, a, a we lose a, a beloved one, a parent, a, a brother, a sister. Can I ask you, Mr. Goldman? Why don't you observe that custom? He says, I'll tell you, uh, Mr. Johnson. He says, I never met you before, and I want to make a good impression. I thought to myself, if I come not shaven, so you might not consider my bit seriously. I don't want to risk it. Oh, he says, for money you caught corners against God? He says, who knows what you do with me also? He said, forget about it, give me that contract, he tore it up. So, Besides Hashem Da'aki Ish, Kamoi Vav Yashi Mitzvay, and Munz Betochem, and the Eleven, Pies Mashiach, and the Binyan Beis Hamigrash, the Kron Pesach, Mehem Yemeinu. Amen.